Hello, my name is Karen Boran and I'm a professional certified coach with the International Coaching Federation and also a partner with Eisenbridge and facilitate the Professional Coaching and Leadership Program. Today, I want us to focus on the coaching skill of listening, but not just listening. We talk as coaches about active listening a crucial competency in coaching and really recognized as a very, very key skill in coaching. And I guess it's a a key skill in just living. If we just stop to really actively listen to the people in our lives, what a difference that would make. Just stop to actively listen to them at a rich, deep level to honestly understand the messaging that they're giving us, not just the words that we hear, but the true message behind those words as well. And that package of the tone, the pace, the emotion, the uh, message, the body language, the words, all of that comes together for us to be able to actively listen. And when we talk about actively listening, what we're talking about is being fully, fully present, but in the space of the speaker, so that what we don't do when we actively listen is go into our own heads and actually start listening to ourselves. We listen actively with full concentration on what is being said. What is it that we genuinely are hearing rather than just a list of words that is coming out of the person's mouth? So active listening is about being fully present, about being mindful in the moment, giving them our undivided attention. Active listening is about being empathetic, seeking to understand, not seeking to respond, but seeking to understand their feeling, their perspective, and understand their situation and where they are coming from. Listening actively is listening to that, as I said, nonverbal communication. What is it that is underlying the facial expressions, the body language, the gestures that tell us even more than the words that we are hearing? Active listening is about intuitively responding, not listening and formulating our response so that our attention moves from the speaker to ourselves. But listening so that when we have finished listening, we intuitively, reflectively can respond. And then perhaps we need to ask a few clarifying questions to understand more, to help us really, really hear the list, the speaker. So active listening is not something that we do in order to formulate a response, in order to judge. Active listening is what we do in order to understand and be curious about what the speaker is telling us. And then to be able to take that and for both of us to learn from it. So I challenge you all today to go out there and to actively listen, listen to learn, to understand rather than to respond.